Calvin Vickers, the man convicted in a deadly crime spree throughout Rochester that took the lives of three victims, including an officer, will die in prison. He's never getting out. Natalie Kutchko was there in court this morning for the formal sentencing. It's life behind bars, no parole. She is live at the Hall of Justice. Yeah, Brendan, this is the exact fate the victims' families and, frankly, the entire Rochester Police Department had been hoping for, though it can't take back their loved ones. We heard today in court from Officer Mazurkowitz's family, as well as the family of Richard Collinge, who was also murdered by Vickers. Now, before a packed courtroom today, Officer Mazurkowitz's wife, Lynn, addressed Vickers directly, reminding him the cuffs used on him belonged to her husband, adding he showed no signs of remorse or regret for his actions or the pain he has caused. She, along with the other victims' loved ones, called for the maximum sentence, which was ultimately delivered. Now, a hook in this case was that charge of aggravated murder. Whether Vickers knew the officers he shot were, in fact, police officers. Today, Monroe County DA Sandra Dorley said there is no way the defendant did not know they were police, and to think otherwise would be foolish. As for the witness testimony uncovered by the feds, which stalled this sentencing back in December, that motion was tossed out by the judge at the beginning of this hearing today, with prosecutors calling it, quote, a bunch of nothing. They are hopeful this brings long-awaited justice for the victims, their families, and the community. This is a slight relief that we were able to get justice on these charges, but, you know, as Lynn said, every day, you know, she'll go to bed and she'll think about this and she'll get up and Tony won't be there for her. And I think that's the, that's the crux of all of this. Um, Calvin Vickers took a life, um, took a life of uh, Richard Kalinch, took a life of Nigel Rand. These lives are no longer here. Um, the defendant's actions are going to have far outlasting effects than what happened here today. But the judge, I mean, I think the, the writing was on the wall with the verdict and the sentence was going to be here. And I don't think that any time someone gives a victim impact statement like that is going to affect the judge's decision. I think the judge has made up his mind what's going to be before that. Now, Vickers did not have any comment before being escorted out. Neither did his attorney. The defense now plans to take this entire court to the appellate court division, they say, on support of that testimony from December. Reporting live from the Hall of Justice, Natalie Kuchko, News 8.